Okay, so I need to talk about this thing that Elon just posted because it is mind-blowing and could be the most shocking post ever about humanity's future. So in this video, let's go through it together, shall we? Humans going to Mars has always felt like decades away, but now Elon has said, quote, SpaceX plans to launch about five uncrewed starships to Mars in two years, end quote. Two years. As of recording this, we haven't even landed a starship on land here, only on water. Elon continues, quote, if those all land safely, then crewed missions are possible in four years. If we encounter challenges, then the crewed missions will be postponed another two years, end quote. I just find all of this so... Elon continues, quote, it is only possible to travel from Earth to Mars every two years when the planets are aligned. This increases the difficulty of the task, but also serves to immunize Mars from many catastrophic events on Earth, end quote. At the moment, our amazing species has all of its eggs in one basket on this planet. Anything could take us out, and going to Mars and setting up a civilization there allows us to have a backup if the unthinkable happens. And we could have this window of opportunity to get there now for only a short time, so we should take it before it closes. Back to Elon. Quote, no matter what happens with landing success, SpaceX will increase the number of spaceships traveling to Mars exponentially with every transit opportunity. We want to enable anyone who wants to be a space traveler to go to Mars. That means you or your family or your friends, anyone who dreams of great adventure, end quote. This is just so incredible. Anyone can go. Anyone? Would you go? Quote, eventually there will be thousands of starships going to Mars and it will be a glorious sight to see. Can you imagine? Wow. The fundamental existential question is whether humanity becomes sustainably multiplanetary before something happens on Earth to prevent that. For example, nuclear war, a super virus, or population collapse that weakens civilization to the point where it loses the ability to send supply ships to Mars, end quote. Like I said before, all our eggs are still in one basket here. And I don't want to help you lose sleep at night, but here's just a couple more scenarios that could help take us out at any moment. Super volcano, asteroid impact, solar flare. Where's our backup for humanity? Back to Elon. Quote, One of my biggest concerns right now is that the Starship program is being smothered by a mountain of government bureaucracy that grows every year. This stifling red tape is affecting all large projects in America, which is why, for example, California has spent around $7 billion and several years on high-speed rail, but only has a 1,600-foot section of concrete to show for it. It's true. SpaceX are being targeted and held up by government regulation. If you want to see why the government is going after Elon and all of his companies, see the video I made here, either in the card above or the description down below. Maybe watch that one next after this. Right now, the government are frustratingly holding back a ready-to-go test launch of Starship. They could be single-handedly holding us back from getting through that window of opportunity out amongst the stars. Back to Elon's post. While I have many concerns about a potential Kamala regime, my absolute showstopper is that the bureaucracy currently choking America to death is guaranteed to grow under a Democratic Party administration. This would destroy the Mars program and doom humanity. Oh my God, those last two words. They're going to keep me up at night. Doom humanity. <laughs> Destroy the Mars program. I was going to put him in, uh, foot, foot. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. Now, I didn't want to get political on this channel. But with the Biden-Harris administration constantly going after Elon, our most productive human, and our potential savior on this planet, it's clear we need less of their restrictive control. And the final line in this post, I'll read from Elon, quote, it cannot happen. Your help would be much appreciated. This is a fork, maybe the fork in the road of human destiny, end quote. Pretty heavy stuff. It would seem that this US election is pivotal and the most important in human history, not just to save the US from tyranny, but for our species going out there and reaching other worlds or dooming itself to be stuck on earth forever. People of America, I'm speaking directly to you now. The power is in your hands. Please do the right thing. If you think this video is an important message, please consider sharing. If you like it, please do like, subscribe, or come and follow me on X to stay up to date. I do this every week. If you love optimistic Elon stories, I mean not too optimistic this week, but pretty important, or you'd just like to know more about the goings-on in Elon's crazy busy world, or his many game-changing companies, follow for more. Or if you'd just like to help stick it to the lamestream media by supporting my truth-seeking, exciting, and hopefully a tad more humorous independent journalism. I'm Will, this is Steve, register to vote y'all. We've been solving the focus problem, and I'll catch you in the next one. I've been doing
doing shit my way. Uh, 